Hello, my name is Jeff Flaherty. I'm a member of the Education Services Lab Support Team. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to enable routed VLAN interfaces, or RVIs, on an EX series switch. So what is an RVI? A routed VLAN interface, or RVI, is a logical layer 3 VLAN interface used to route traffic between VLANs. It typically functions as the gateway IP address for end user devices on the subnet associated with the corresponding VLAN. RVIs must be associated with a VLAN and must have an operational layer two interface in that VLAN to be operational themselves. These interfaces are typically implemented in either the aggregation layer or the access layer, depending on the network design and implementation. All EX series switches support RVIs as well as other layer three routing operations. To configure RVIs, we first define the VLAN statement at the Edit Interfaces hierarchy. We set the unit number and IP address. Next, define the VLAN and associate the Layer 3 interface with their respective VLANs at the Edit VLANs hierarchy. Next, configure the appropriate interfaces to be Ethernet switched and add them to the correct VLAN at the Edit Interfaces hierarchy. Alternatively, you can add the interface to the appropriate VLAN at the Edit VLANs hierarchy. Either way is acceptable. Finally, we can verify there are interfaces associated with the proper VLANs and that they are operational using the show commands. Let's run through an example. In the diagram shown here, we have two hosts, host A with IP address 172.23.11.100 and host B with IP address 172.23.12.100. The simple goal here is to get these two devices, which are on different subnets and different VLANs, to communicate via ping. Okay, let's get started. First, we define the Layer 3 VLAN interfaces. We'll use Unit 11 and Unit 12 in our example and set the IP addresses according to the diagram. Next, we'll define the VLANs and associate them with their respective Layer 3 interfaces. Next, we'll set the appropriate interfaces as Ethernet switched and add them to the correct VLAN. In our case, Gigabit Ethernet 006 will be in VLAN 11 and Gigabit Ethernet 0016 will be in VLAN 12.
and let's have a look. Now we can commit our changes and verify. I'll use the show VLANs command. And here we can see that Gigabit Ethernet 006 is associated with VLAN 11, and Gigabit Ethernet 0016 is associated with VLAN 12. They're both showing up up, as I'll show here. And therefore, both the RVIs will be showing as operational as well. To demonstrate the need for the Layer 2 interfaces to be up-up, in order for the VLAN interface to be operational, I'll disable Gigabit Ethernet 006 and show you the status of the VLAN 11 logical interfaces after that's been done. commit those changes. And let's have a look at the logical interface VLAN 11. You can see that while the admin status is up, the link status is down, making the interface inoperational. Let's roll back and test our connectivity between hosts as shown on the diagram. Recall that we have two hosts, host A and host B, each on different subnets and in different VLANs. The goal here is to simply get these two devices to communicate via ping. First, let's ensure that the hosts have the correct default gateway set and we can ping that gateway. Here we can see we have 172.23.11.1 set as a default route gateway, and we'll ping that here. Looks good, and we'll do the same thing on host B. One seven two twenty three dot twelve dot one, and let's ping that. Very good. With the gateways verified, let's now ping the opposite host to ensure our RVIs are doing their job. From host A, I'll ping host B. And the response from 12.100 is good. And from host B to host A. And the response from 11.100 looks good as well. With the pings between the end devices successful, we have verified that the configuration of the RVI on the switch is good. This concludes our simple demonstration of how to enable routed VLAN interfaces on EX switches. And I hope you found this information useful. Do note that this is just the first step in enabling Layer 3 services on EX switches, and many additional features can be configured as well, such as routing protocols, and DHCP services. Additional information about these features can be found in the complete software guide for Junos OS for EX series switches and elsewhere on our website. Thanks for your time today. 
Juniper Learning Bites. View more at www.juniper.net slash learning bites. They're free, concise lessons on specific subjects, relevant for all skill levels, taught by training experts, and available whenever and wherever you're ready to learn. Juniper Learning Bites. Expand your knowledge bit by bit.